We live yet? Did the thing say live? Yeah. Oh, all right. Hey, right. Oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> My phone says off air. I don't know what's going on here. Hey, guys, welcome to the Ulanti Live sneaker chat. Back at it. We got uh, some, some guests that haven't been on in a while. So uh, real quick, I'm going to introduce everyone. And, and also on top of that, let me know what shoe you wore today. Just kind of curious. Uh, Optimus P517, back at it <laughs> in his new spot. No bear costume this time. No, it's, uh, it's in, in the corner. <laughs> but uh, what's going on, man? I'm what's very new? disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh you, I can mail it to you, Nate. <laughs> oh, Nothing much, Where been you been? Busy. Just been busy. You know, life. I, I mean, I told you I'm, I'm trying to cut back this year, but I ended up getting those uh, bread 11s today. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. And what, what, what shoe did you rock today? Space Jams. There you go. And are you going to die the insole of the Bread 11 Lowe's like you had mentioned? I don't know. I thought about it, but too lazy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, those, are the space gems. those are the Space Jams, Optimus. You did the Soul Swap on, right, from the uh -huh. IE Lowe's? Oh, nice. I remember that video. I remember posting mine in the snow, and I remember commenting, now if only Optimus will wear his. So it's good to hear you're rocking them. They're still falling apart. <laughs> oh, really? That's sad. Uh, next up, we got Jason Donner. Jason, what's going on? What do you rock today? What's going on, man? Uh, well, I I wore like two different shoes a day, but for most of the day, I wore Ooh, those. I nice. Still, I still actually got them on feet right now. So. Nice. The, the Hurricane LeBron Nines. I like but, those. Uh, yeah. And indeed, three one seven in the house. Uh, what's going in on, man? What, what do you rock today? Oh, what did I rock today? I rocked. Easy boost. I rocked. I rocked. Yeah, easy boost. O two O two Jordan nines. Nice. Mhm. Mm and we got T Blake in the house. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Jet Setter himself, kids in New York, kids in San Francisco, kids in Portland, Oregon. I can't keep up with you anymore. Like, I know. The worst, <laughs> what's part, going on? the worst part is I didn't pay my electric bill, so that's why it's a little dark on my, <laughs> a little dark on my screen. <laughs> um, no, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I'm having, a, I'm having an ugly day, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, we, uh, <laughs> I've been there. Today I wore the Ultra Boost, and then I played some basketball on the Jordan 29. And yeah, nice. Uh, and then we got uh, uh, geez, uh, Jay Paint on his way in, and Eddie Wynn uh, uh, on their way in. So, um, oh, and real quick, today I rocked. I uh, broke these out. The uh, New Balance 996 Connoisseur Guitars, uh, Pistachio oh, colorway. Uh, love these. Um, so, first thing we want to talk about is the Air Jordan Pinnacles that are going to be dropping. Um, do we? What's the official release date? Do we even know? I thought it was June twentieth. Okay, um, June twentieth, and uh, retail price of four hundred. And uh, you know, there's been much debate about, you know, are they really worth four hundred? Quality on the shoe. You know, it, T. Blake, I believe you said you had them in hand, and I saw you tweeted saying you actually do think they're worth four hundred based on. Uh, the materials and, and craftsmanship that went into the shoe. So tell me about uh, your experience with holding them in hand. Yeah. Well, I guess when I say that I think they're worth $400 is, right, we've had a lot of, um, like, a perfect example of this is the Jordan Future Premium, which I think was 375 or something like that. I'm cool with spending extra money on a sneaker when it has, when, it, when I feel like there's extra time and attention to detail put in. So if you when you do get a pair, you'll notice that they come with this really awesome dust bag, as well as like a the best way to describe it, it's almost it's not a retro card, but it's like a gold postcard kind of thing that explains the shoe. Um, and then they also come with like an additional like kind of special box. So it's it's not a remastered box; it's a little bit different. It's kind of like the same material that's on the upper. And uh, I don't know, it's it's those kinds of things. Obviously, 24 karat gold plating. Um, that's actually not that expensive, but it's kind of cool to see that on a sneaker. You know, I don't think you see that too often. And uh, and I love Jordan ones, and I was really pleasantly surprised with how they were put together. Yeah, and, and what's funny is is I actually think 400 isn't even that outrageous, just for the fact that we've seen 
normal retros that don't have any type of premium material retail for two fifty. Um, I honestly wouldn't have been shocked if that if the pinnacles were five hundred. So um, I think a lot of people will will definitely be interested in those because they'll be able to use that sneaker as more of a, a high end um, look. You know, you can you can wear those. Uh, we got a live video bomb in there. PB's mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you're on TV. How you doing? Did I see a cat or like a rat run across the screen? A rat? A rat. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a rat. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, everyone everyone shame Eddie Wynn for being late. No oh, show are you live week. right now? Oh, we're live, baby. Oh, my God. Late, I'm the didn't, worst. Didn't show last week. <laughs> Crashes the party this time. Dresses oh. like Jerry Seinfeld from 1992. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't show that picture, did you? No, but we, we will later. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dude, Seinfeld did not have the Huff shirt. Trust me. <laughs> All right, Eddie. What's going on? Say what's up to the people and let them know uh, what you wore today for sneakers. Uh, not much. I wore New Balance 998s, the the Bringbacks is what they're called. Nice. That, that OG gray colorway. Yeah, um, those are nice. You know what I really wanted to have for this chat was the Funkmaster Flex bombs. You ever seen the bo- heard the bombs that he drops after uh, he plays a song? Yes, yes. <laughs> yep. I needed that. I, we sure need that for this chat, for sure. I'm sure that but. sound effect is in there somewhere. Someone can draw it up. Uh, yeah. But yeah. hey, we're, we're actually we're talking about the uh, air. We're talking about the Air Jordan Pinnacles. Uh, just w- your thoughts on you know the 400 price point, uh, the material. You know, do you think it's a it's worth that? Uh, no, I mean I haven't held them in hand, so I, I, I can't really say. But that that play that price is is crazy inflated. Uh, I know that that gold is 24 karat, but they're they're way too gaudy for me. You know, like I they they like almost remind me of like Giuseppe shoes or something. But it, I I don't know. It's uh, what are the resale prices like for those? I saw that they were like a thousand, and now they're like six hundred. Well, because <laughs> like, so they're stupid. dropping. Yeah, they they dropped originally like overseas, I think, and then there's gonna still gonna be a U S release date. Uh, so gotcha. Yeah. If um, they were like two fifty, um, I would maybe think about it, but. Like I said, I haven't seen them in, in, in hand, so I don't really know how flashy that gold is, but um, right. they like almost remind me of like jewelry for your feet. Yeah, like, and there's no way they can be comfortable. They look just stiff as hell. That's you know a good I mean? point. Good point. Um, Nate, what, what do you think about them? Ah. <laughs> 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 That's perfect. I love it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, enough, enough said. Enough yep. said. That's perfect. Uh, Jason, what do you got on these bad boys? Uh, well, I don't. I don't think they're that bad. But just like the Jeters, I don't like that they did the all white bottom. Like I think it would have looked better with that black trim. But I'm. I mean, I don't know. They're gonna sell out regardless. But I don't. They're. It, it looks more like just like a cool to shoe to have in your collection if you want to spend four hundred dollars to look at a shoe, but no, nah, and doesn't doesn't really do it for me. Do, yeah. Doesn't T Blake have every color? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> then I woke up last night out of my dream. Oh shit! Then Guy Fieri stole them off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're gonna sidetrack. What's the deal with Guy yeah, Fieri? The guy was there next to me. It was perfect. No. Uh, <laughs> um, what's the deal with Guy Fieri? It's funny because everyone's been saying it's lit, right? Like, ah, oh, this is so lit. Yeah, it's played out, kind of. It, oh, it's super played out. But there's a picture of Guy Fieri wearing a Flames T-shirt. So like when people would say it's lit, <laughs> literally uh, lit. Yeah. So like when people would say it's lit, Jacob or I would reply with a picture of Guy Fieri wearing a flame T-shirt. Like it's that. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then other people started kind of getting on it. Then we had National Guy Fieri Day, which was um, I I forgot that it was also May the Fourth Be With You Day. So that was kind of a mistake. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we just raised awareness for Guy Fieri, and now it's just kind of an internet meme. 
Well, I mean, Guy Fieri is an absolute ridiculous human to begin with. Oh, yeah. Like, that's totally. just the bottom line. Like, Don't he take is, his flavor town and back, man. He is – the fact that he has a, a more successful career than I do and, and makes more money than me makes me very angry. He, <laughs> it's the car. He, he's the biggest clown in the entire world. We've done this before. I remember on a live chat I went on a rant about how horrible of a human he is. But my, my favorite thing is, is just how, like – like fake he is. I remember he did like a promo for like Fridays where he's like, come down to Fridays, check it out. And then like someone caught him like drunk off camera being like, that food fucking sucks. <laughs> like, he just, he's, he's a clown. It's awesome. Oh uh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then, uh, I did opt- not know that. Optimus. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll look up. I'll, it's like team Z had it like a few years ago. I'll look it up. <laughs> I don't know if like Fridays dropped him because they obviously were paying him like big money to be, you know, be like the spokesperson. Well, um, I forgive him, so... <laughs> that's all that matters. Just saying. Um, we'll, we'll get to uh, the release today, which seems like... I When I checked my timeline this morning, I was flooded with just bread, people, you know, Bread 11 links, and I was like... I, I, to me, I wrote the shoe off just because I'm like... I have the bread ele- normal Bread 11s. I don't need the lows, so I'm just kind of closing my eyes to it. Um, but I, it seemed like a lot of people were struggling to get them online. Um, Optimus, uh, you have them in hand. How are they? How was your experience getting them? And did anyone else uh, go after them uh, today? Um, I think that, you know, I, I saw Nightwing's video, and they're pretty much just like all the other 11s. I mean, there's nothing special about them, and I don't think they're master remasters. So it's yeah, all that's, right. Th- this is what's frustrating to me is, is I almost feel like – there's no difference between that shoe and the Bread 11. Just like these Jordan 1s that are releasing, the Chicago 1s that are going to drop for 160 are the same exact quality leather and craftsmanship as, like, the Jordan 1 Shadows. So, like, I hate that that's – what was retail price on that? 170 So, 170. for me, after tax, it's 186 and, and, the, and, and the Bread 11 lows, you know, were – you know, a couple of years ago, they were only 130 140 Yeah. You know, is – it? How th- there was never really any issue with Bread Eleven materials or no craftsmanship. So, craftsmanship was never an issue with the Bread Elevens. It's always been the mids. Um, when I saw uh, T- was it RTMC III's video yeah. with his pants, if you've got a pair of jeans that covers up the ankle area, it'll look exactly like a pair of mids. If yeah, you really you look tell. at it, you know right. you can't really tell. Um, and the, for the people that's going to dye the liner black, it's going to be a pair of breads, pretty much. So, I like the mids just because it, it has more material on it, but these, you know, it is what it is. These, these are nice, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's the thing, too. I, I Obviously, we're beating a dead horse when we talk about, like, re- Jordan's being remastered and the price hike. There's it's just part of part of the, kind of the game now. There's there's not much you can do or say. Um, y- you have the normal Brett Elevens, right? Yeah. So, uh, curious why you went with the lows? Just because you it's a classic shoe to you? It's, well, it's the Elevens, but it's part of the collection. I mean. Yep. You know, just like the Concord lows, you you get them anyways. Yep. I got the Concord lows because I don't have the Concords. You know what I mean? So for me, it's uh-huh. like one or the other. It's a um, constellation just, price. Exactly. Just like I, I, there's a rumor that the Space Jam 11 lows are going to drop next year. Who knows? But, like, I'll go after that shoe just because I don't have the normal version. Um, did anyone else go after? What are you laughing about? Right <laughs> Someone left <laughs> the comment and said, we need Frey Dog 313 on here. <laughs> so, like, someone, so, someone also wow. said, Wow. Someone also said Eddie Witten couldn't punch his way out of a pa- wet paper bag with scissors in his hand. <laughs> the RZA. Who the fuck is the RZA? Uh, show RZA, what... RZA, come see me. Obviously, I don't know who the RZA is, but <laughs> Mr. Soundwave, see me in the streets, bro. Uh, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> did, uh, did anyone else cop the 11 lows? Nah. Someone said Eddie Witten is as soft as a feather pillow. <laughs> oh, it's this. It's the same kid. No. Oh, oh, is that is that the weirdo? Dude, this kid. <laughs> yo, at, hey, Matthew, whatever your fuck your name is. Do you have? Do, do you have a camera? Join us right now, buddy. Seriously. Uh, 
tell him. Tell Join him. I, I want to know about your weirdo ways I'll, I'll, and, I'll, and how you I'll, operate I'll, on the internet and how it's unlike every other person that uses the internet. He's, this kid he's, is he's weird. the one who compared uh, <laughs> me not making Jordan videos to like a, a famous musician not making like mu classic music that like they used to make. LL Cool J, nonetheless. I'm LL Cool J. My God. I'll invite him in. Oh. There's a lot of different things I've wanted to do with the chats. One, I want to eventually do an around the horn version where I give points to people for like if they make a good point, <laughs> and then like I'll hit the mute button and then I'll kick you off after like each round, or, I'll, or you'll be like frozen <laughs> the whole time. Also, too, I think it'd be to do like it'd be fun to do like a chat roulette, like bring in viewers, just be like, all right, I'm sending the invite. You're coming in. You get two minutes to just say whatever you want to say, and then I boot you out. You're gonna see more balls than you ever want <laughs> in your entire life. <laughs> Oh, um, that's uh, hilarious. Right. Uh, so no one else got the bread eleven lows. No, no not for myself. But no, I don't think I'll ever cop a low at yeah. any retro ever. Yeah, I. Uh, the I only can't... exception is the the eleven lows. Is I, I'm not a fan of any other lows, but the eleven lows I don't mind. Yeah, no, I don't mind any of them, but I know I, I would just rather have the the full version. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I, I guess maybe uh, when you're wearing shorts, you might want a low top as opposed to some of the mids or highs. But yeah, I would still like I, I don't I, I haven't even worn my regular breads too often. I don't think I would throw the lows on before those. You know what right. I mean? Right. Yes. Um, something I but that's just me. Yeah. Um, all right. And, and moving on, something I just want to kind of bring up and, and just clear up just because there's been tons of questions, tons of people asking and and once again uh you know it's you know we've got to go to the kanye effect but kanye effect the white ultra boost um a lot of buzz around them and there's going to be three versions dropping um there's been a lot of confusion there's one uh that has a black bottom that has already been up on Foot Locker. that's already dropped there's a white bottom one that's coming out and then there's a uh Third version, which is basically it has different. It's a white bottom, but it has different materials. It's part of the co uh, collective pack. Um, so, and, and a lot of the sneaker sites have kind of been breaking breaking this uh, down. But uh, is that what you heard? T Blake two, three different models. Yeah, three different. The, models. Yep. Um, and and, you, and it, tell me what you think about like you know Kanye and what he's been doing with Adidas. Um, it, it, it's. It, I think it's kind of amazing that the fact that whatever he wears will immediately just generate buzz. People, will, you know, if if he wore, let's just say he wore an orange pair, then everyone would want the orange one, and we wouldn't be talking about the white ones right now. Right. What What are your thoughts on his his influence? Well, I think it's I think it's interesting because, right, Kanye would wear a popular Nike or Jordan model, and people might say, oh well. Did Kanye have something to do with the model selling out? Maybe, but it's a iconic Jordan retro, or it's a you know it's a Flyknit sneaker. You know what I mean? So now I see him wear something like the Energy Boost or the Ultra Boost, which you know, at least I mean I can speak to it directly. There's not you know I, I I've sold I, I know kids have been buying them when they're under retail and stuff, but it's certainly not selling out. You know what I mean? And uh, to see him wear that Ultra Boost, that white Ultra Boost, and all of a sudden, you know, kids are selling out uh, the Nike Ultra Boost online. It, it, the Nike Ultra Boost online, the white colorway, it just blows my mind, you know? Yep. It's, uh... Oh, that's too. Like, I think it, they restocked today on East Bay, and, and, like, I posted it a little later in the day, they're gone again. Yep. Um, the, the frustrating thing is that you know, I think it's a clean sneaker, and I'd want it regardless of Kanye, whether you wore it or not. Unfortunately, the new thing is now is if you go buy that shoe, it's like, oh, you only bought it because of Kanye. Right. And yeah. that, to me, that's kind of frustrating. Um, but you have to remember, it, it doesn't have to be that way also because you have, like, this is part of the reason why Adidas is paying the big bucks because if Kanye West is the person that puts someone onto an Adidas Ultra Boost and all of a sudden you look at it and are like, oh, I could see myself wearing that, doesn't mean that you know you're copying him. It's like, oh, it's finally on your radar. Yeah, it's true. 
The wild part is that it's they're 180. <laughs> if you've never yeah. tried on a pair of Ultra Boosts and you don't know anything about them, and then he's wearing this shoe, and then you cop them for 180. That that's that's a pretty expensive sneaker just to kind of pull just just to get just out of influence, you know? It's a pretty minimal looking shoe. But like you don't really see the technology in the pictures. Like it's one of my favorite shoes to wear right now. It, if you've had maybe maybe that's it. Maybe it's people that have had this pair of shoes and they're like, Oh, I want a different colorway. Because the white one is is awesome. You know, because that you can't change that midsole, right? It has to be white. Uh, is that true? I think I don't think you can. No, I don't think the boost well, color is any other color, right? Well, I think it's white. It's yeah. white by default, but it's you're probably going to see some different color ones in the future. All right, so you have a little inside information. I get it. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> as of as of right now, there there aren't any out there that that are colored. So right. the all white color is is like the the go to. You know, like that's kind of the one I feel like people are waiting on if you've had that shoe. You know what I mean? So there's a couple reasons why you would do it, but still the one eight. Like that that that's a that's a pretty crazy price point and for a shoe to just sell out right away as a as a low top runner. Do right. you think do you think people look at Lords of the Easy Boost three hundred? You think they look are like, eh, hey, well it's a it's a boost, Kanye wore it, it's kinda of like a Kanye signature kind of, and it's only one eighty. To them they might think it's a deal. That that they didn't pay the three hundred. Good point. You know. Yeah, yeah good point. That uh, and, and remember the blogs. If you look at how the blogs were reporting it, they were like, "Look at what's reselling on eBay," and it's like, "Ah, uh, you know, that's what people are listing it for. That's not what they're selling for." And as sad as it is, you get kids that are like, you know, they want to make a buck, and they're like, "Oh shit, I need to buy it," you know. And now mm -hmm. it's probably gonna be a lot of people that aren't necessarily gonna be able to move those, but. Good. Yep. <laughs> Under we, we, we all right, real quick, we got Jay Paint in the building. Jay oh, Paint look, look out. It's good. What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. What about you guys? Uh, same old. We're just uh, we we're just chatting about Kanye's influence, uh, you know, and, and with him wearing the ultra boost and kind of what that's done, you know. He 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 has such he has such power. I really I really believe that. Um yeah. And then uh, you you had a nice video today. Uh, what did you drop that late it, last night or this morning? It was pre it was late last night. Okay, because I because I was I was up to like two last night. And I didn't even I don't think I saw it. And I saw it this morning. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I I liked uh, I liked what you had to say. Good input as always. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we but, we can we can hit on that too tonight. You know. Yeah, and and as far as the Kanye thing goes, I think I think the big thing is. He basically is like for the younger crowd, a fashion icon. So it's not like he's just some famous person with no style. So I mean, anytime you see it, it kind of gives you like a live on foot, and like yeah. he has the good outfits to match with it. And you're like, oh, that's how you can put that shoe with 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 that jacket with those pants. And you're like, oh, that that's pretty nice. I'll pick it up. So I think that's a big a big thing with Kanye. Yep, um, and what's funny is who else out there right now carries that type of uh, you know cachet with what what they do as far as style goes? Whether it's a rapper, whether it's a uh, athlete, is there anyone else out there that you think that either we or younger kids look up to, like just okay. LeBron? <laughs> I think everybody. I think everybody goes to Kanye, including other celebrities. Yeah. Like I think LeBron copies Kanye. Exactly. You know what I mean? The the only one, the only guy who has, I mean, it's kind of Kanye esque, but he's he's is pretty different. Is Russell Westbrook? <laughs> <laughs> he's way left, bro. <laughs> he's, he's on a different scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I, he, I mean, I don't think that's really style when you just go into your closet and just fucking pick three things, you know? It's like a dare, it's like a dare every time he steps outside. He's like, yo, you won't you wear won't, the thing. The thing about you Russell know. Westbrook is, like, I have, I've read a lot of articles talking about how he was accepted more quickly in, like, the, the big fashion circles than Kanye was. Like, he was, like, kind of one of the first, like, guys 
in that group of like Kanye, LeBron, uh, etc. that was accepted into the fashion world. Right. Well, he, he does have a line with Barney's. With, he did have a collection with Barney's, and, <laughs> but I think in terms of acceptance, I think uh, you know Kanye West is is a visionary and he's hard to work with, and he he wants to be at the top. And I think when you add those things together, it makes him you know brands are a little more hesitant to work with him, as opposed to Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is a little bit more you know I think family friendly and uh, you know. He's not going to fuck to me. Do, th do you think it's maybe the other way around, though? Do you think Kanye is a little bit hesitant to work with other brands? Like, do you think if, if like, Barney's would definitely put out a Kanye line, no problem. He'd probably turn he'd probably turn that down. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. And He's I think super if, he, I think if h and came to Kanye West to do it, he would do it, too. He'd be stupid not to. I don't know. That might ruin him. I don't H&M collab, like, just... Like, I don't know. Oh, a lot of people don't. But it's tough. I, I feel like it's a slippery slope when you when you work with H and M or fast fashion groups like that. You know, like biker jeans are going to be so played out after um, this uh, Ballman collab. Don't you think? Uh, I mean, I I personally think they're getting played out right now. If you look at the entry level brands like uh, Embellish and other brands that are you know doing their thing to them, but remember, just because we think it's played out doesn't mean it's actually played out. Usually, the fashion cycle is like laggard. It's like three or four times, uh, four three or four years behind. So once all those everyone gets on that, you know, then they'll certainly be played out, but. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a video on it so I can do it, T. Blake, because you smart. You smart guy. You get smart. Sure. <laughs> uh, anyway. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring this left field. No, you you brought it. You brought it. <laughs> okay. People are like, "What are you talking about? Ball man and H and M for? We're on a sneaker chat." <laughs> <laughs> No, but it is, lost you a couple of viewers, Andy. Sorry. Uh -oh. It is kind of funny to me how like ripped jeans, like if you had ripped jeans, like ten years ago, people would be like, "Why the hell do you have holes in your jeans?" Seriously. Now, now it's widely accepted. I know it's crazy. Every every year, fashion changes by a lot in just a year. Like I was looking at some of my jeans the other day. I'm like, how can I put holes in these and make it look cool. And I was like, wait, am I really thinking about doing this to a nice pair of jeans? Like, well, I was, I, I've got a pair that was ripped up. I'm like, I need to find those jeans. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I can stop. Yeah. It's, it's like my, my parents told me to throw those away. Smart that I kept them. Uh oh, we, we, we lost <laughs> the classic Yo Annie. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's back. Uh, I didn't even notice he was gone. Um, yeah, you <laughs> wanted. You should have heard what Wait, we were talking about. Were you guys just talking about ripped jeans? Yeah. yeah. Because when I was when I was like twenty something, like ripped jeans were popular. Like you'd go to Abercrombie and you'd specifically get ripped jeans, and then that fad after like you know two three years, it's like okay, ripped jeans aren't cool anymore. And now all of a sudden, what? Almost ten years later, they're cool again. It's going to recycle. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I don't look at jogger pants. I, mean, I, I also it, think the difference, though, I think the difference, though, of jeans back uh, when they were popular for a few years there was, like, 99% of people would be like, what the hell are you wearing? Like, right. yeah. kind of a small niche thing, whereas, like, now everybody kind of knows, like, oh, ripped jeans is the style. Yeah. Like I remember, I used to always get tons of comments being like, "Oh, you you paid for those?" You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? I'm like, I'm like, no, exactly. ripped jeans, rip jeans are cool. Like, they're they're, they're in style. Um, exactly. You know, like especially like the, like ripped jeans, like on the beach with sandals. Like, oh, look how casual oh, I am. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, the it's, Hollister, the Hollister. Oh movie yeah. Days. Oh yeah. Oh, someone. Yeah. I, <laughs> That's yeah, I don't know. So I mean, I guess that's just part of I don't I don't know. Does Kanye wear ripped jeans? Is that why they're back? <laughs> I don't think that's the main reason, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm sure he does. 
Um, it's, it's funny how those the same people that would like clown on you for that shit are the same people that kind of steal your style. <laughs> yeah. You'll see them wearing them at some point. Yep. There, there's two other two two other topics I I want to talk about. Um, I I wanna I do want to hit on like the 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 whole like I don't know where this came out of the whole seating like not controversy but you know everyone started chiming in and, and I think it's because it's gotten fairly heavy. Uh, we've seen a change in in YouTube. Obviously, um, it's it's different. It's not the same. And and J P, you made a good point, basically saying like when I log on a, a YouTube on let's just say a Saturday, and and there's seven people that you you are subscribed to, and we all have the same video. You're just kind of yeah. like, geez, that's like okay, like I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get it. Um, but it does. It, it, it makes it a little stale. It, you know, it's a good point. Um, and the thing is, the thing is, it wouldn't be that bad if other people were still making videos. Mm -hmm. But but nobody else is really making videos, and it's kind of like a, a cycle type thing where it really helps you guys keep growing. But then the other people that like aren't buying that many shoes, like post every month, two months, and it it just kind of is a thing that you see every time you kind of refresh your feed on, on Yeah, YouTube. yeah. And, and, and seating's a funny thing because we get these sneakers, and, and you had mentioned how you got two, and, and also, to the reason why I, I no one knows, as far as champs goes, there's no rhyme or reason. No one, I don't know, any. no one knows anything. <laughs> so the reason you haven't gotten your sneakers in the last however long, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's a reason. I think they just <laughs> don't have any real strategy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could I could get a champs package and be like, this sucks, champs sucks, this place is garbage. And, and you package. get another one. Exactly. Yeah. So, so don't, don't, hold, don't think that. Um, but what's frustrating too when when like I get a pair, let's say I get a pair from Champs and I want to share my honest opinion. Like I got those Hirachis and I'm like, I I was literally and I hate it sounds cliche like oh we really looking to pick up a pair of Hirachis like yeah I actually truly was, um because you know there, there's tons of new colorways but like I'm like I love this shoe so it can yeah. work out where you get a shoe where you're like no this is absolutely perfect. That's, that's what happened with those Kobe's. Right. I was so, like literally two days away from <clears> buying them on eBay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, they came in the mail, and I was like, "That just saved me 180 bucks." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. In, in what people have to realize, obviously, it's a, it's a marketing tactic. It's a marketing ploy. Um. To just say, hey, here's a free pair of kicks. They, there's no contract where they say, oh, you have to say this, you have to say that. They didn't no. even tell you you have to make a video. They say, <laughs> if you want to share your thoughts, just use this hashtag. You know. So it, it's not that the champ seating's not that serious. Um, it, there's different forms too, and in other people, you know, we all have our own accounts. We all have our own, um, you know, kind of people we've networked with, and and we've built different relationships. So not everyone's seated by the same people. Um, obviously, the um, you know, Saucony has has hit got got a lot of us, and and we all we all post about those. Once again, they don't tell us to do anything. Oh, I think I, I believe that a lot of any any of us who do the Saucony thing is because we believe in the shoe, the people that you know behind the brand and the brand itself. We've all been fans of that brand, so. Um, but I, I understand people's kind of frustration and and how they could maybe get uh, annoyed. Yeah. Um, anyone else want to chime in on the 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 seating or or not even this the seating but sneaker YouTube change and and what. What what is gonna happen the rest of 2015? Is is Brad Hall just gonna take over and <laughs> and, and knock us all out or what? <laughs> My thing is, I think Brad Hall. Like, I was thinking he was gonna have a short shelf life, but after the on foot video he did last time, I was like, if he can come up with some new stuff like that each time. <laughs> I, oh, uh, J. Payne, I said it. I, I said it off air. I said he needs to be a real like he needs to start YouTube beef with with another YouTuber. Like call out call out like DJ Dells or something. Then I'm like, okay, now we'll now we'll get stuff going. You need he needs a Twitter account too. Oh yeah. So he can get all the Twitter beef too. Yeah, exactly. Um, the on foot with those Jordan Elevens was absolutely insane. <laughs> Who found them? 
Wow. One of these sneaker blogs uh, is behind it because so they're the ones the who com- are promoting it. The post started in Nike Talk, but all his all of his profiles were made on in uh, in mid April, I think. Or something yeah. Like yeah. I, I'll say this. I, I think it's genius. I think it's genius. Whoever did it, because it, we're talking about it. I, I said this off air. It's gone viral. Like my my friends are emailing me that I don't even ever really hear from, sharing the video with me. My dad knows about it. Like everyone, it, it's it's great. It's gone viral. You know, it's it's Whoa. it's it's really interesting. So we got Tony D too wild in the house. What's good, guys? What's going on? What first up, time, D, first time on the uh, Anthony Live Sneaker Chat. Yes, Welcome. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my granddaddy. <laughs> shout out to my uncle. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> made it now. <laughs> we'll, we'll send you. On? You get a little. Tro- I send trophies to anyone who's ever been on. So your trophy will be there in about a week. All right, babe. <laughs> where is mine? Yeah, where the fuck? Yeah, where's my fucking trophy, man? <laughs> there is a mail. There is a mail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony D, wh- wh- tell us what you think about the uh, the Brad Hall videos. Oh yeah, I felt I- I'm feeling pressure right now, man. <laughs> Yo, it's coming for your spot. The, the on the on foot Jordan 11, it was I was like wow, you know I was like wow. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's I don't know I like I think like T Blake said I think complex or somebody's doing something. Is this too? It's too, it's too, his face. I don't know. I don't trust him. Something's up. Something's going on with that guy. <laughs> totally. There's, no one has a library like that in their house. Yeah. No, he's, def- he's definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely murdered somebody before. Exactly. Like, like, there needs to be like a backstory on this guy. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Man. I mean, getting crazy views though. Like 300,000. Like, goodness. Seriously. Um, There's some crossover so, appeal. Different blogs are posting him. So yeah, my, my right. a lot of people I know who don't even like shoes think it, he's hilarious. Yep. It is uh, funny. It is good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll be interested to see where it goes, or if the person who's behind it comes out and reveals themselves. So, uh, yeah. I, I, and what's funny is he's built a fan base. Like he already has what almost ten thousand subscribers. Nine, like yes, a million video now. views, yeah. See what I mean? So like, yeah. it, it's it. One, I think it was a smart idea. Like, I, it, it, one of us could have done it. We just didn't think about it. If I went and found some nerd and then like created our own little thing, like that's why I think it was a smart idea. Yeah, um, yeah. You, you nailed it. Actually, you nailed it last week, you Manny. You nailed it last week. We I, all I actually, did that when we first started. <laughs> that's how we all were. I actually, do something like I was doing these weird things. They on, copied uh, me. <laughs> all of us. Uh, it's classic. Um, Tony, so, what were you saying? Oh, no, I was saying I, I, I did like a couple of like, I don't know if some of you guys seen it, but like Two Wild News, like I act weird. And those yeah, are, I seen those it. Yeah. Just, like, those would get like a whole bunch of views with dislikes, but it would, I guess when you act like crazy or we, out of the ordinary, it just gets a lot of attention. Like that's just, right. people like to see that. Like it, just anything out of the ordinary. True. Um, another thing too, uh, my buddy Lee's in the comments. Regicidal kicks, uh, you know, because he's 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 a you know he's been doing sneaker YouTube for a little bit now, but you know, trying to grow his channel. Um, I think right now this is probably a, a a tough time to try to really grow your channel in the sneaker world because I think there's a lot of competition out there. We all, you know, in a way, we all kind of compete against each other. Um, because we're all trying to think of new cool ideas. Like the Brad Hall video was a great, cool new idea because no one has done something like that. And we're all trying to be as creative as possible. Um, for the most part, we all have been doing it for a while or have built up a audience. Whereas if someone just says starts tomorrow and it's like, all right, zero subscribers, I've never posted a video, here I go, it almost feels like you, you've got to like – have it's something. almost like you have to have every single major blog in the complex network post your video. <laughs> Essentially, right, right. Wait, I've seen that before. <laughs> I can't remember I, what it was, but <laughs> I, I think that goes into what what uh, Jay was saying mm-hmm. about like everybody posting the same thing. Like, if you're a brand new sneaker reviewer and you come into the game, you're gonna try to get all the latest kicks, but the new people. The people that's gonna subscribe to you are gonna be like, why do I need to subscribe to this new guy when we got your T T Blake, you know, Tony D, Eddie Wynn posting the same shoes? Like then they, like you said, it's not it's yeah. nothing different. 
they're not going to want to jump into it. Like, everybody who's subscribing now is just kind of seeing, like, oh, this guy has a big following, and uh, he's been doing it for a minute, so I'm just going to follow him rather than somebody new. And, you know, like, like you said, yeah. like, back yeah. a year ago, two years ago, everybody here, like, everybody here, like, two years ago was probably, like, barely pushing 10,000 subscribers. Like, it just jumped, like, crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, over a year or two, like, everybody's subscriber count jumped, like, the whole YouTube is yep. going crazy. And, and, and two things here. One, and, 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 you know, let's just take sneaker YouTube out of it, just YouTube in general. Because a lot of these YouTube stars, um, you know, people with a million, over a million subscribers, they're getting, they're getting TV shows. They're getting on Ellen DeGeneres. Like, they're, they're making huge major moves. So even just to get into just anything YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're talking to sneaker world to get any type of YouTube uh, fame or, or whatever you want to call it or success from YouTube is is seems like it's really difficult right now because it's everyone's trying to tap in. Uh, two, Regicidal Kicks just said YouTube tweeted out the Brad Hall video. YouTube directly wow. has tweeted out the Brad um, Hall video. No, sh no shit. Yeah, so oh, it's it's completely viral. But but once again, it, it's it's it almost seems frustrating because I'm like. That's, well, I, I think it, it's, I they're guess, copying us. Well, you know? I guess we're the, the real nerds. <laughs> I mean, right. it's it's always it's always frustrating to see something that you've spent a lot of time on, and legitimately, you know, a lot of people on YouTube within the secret community, you know, literally, legitimately have a passion and they want to share it with people. And I know yeah. there's people in this chat and, and people that I talk to every single day that you know, come to me or you or anyone else for help and advice, you know, trying to do that. And it's been a slow, slow grind. So, of course, when you see someone that's kind of, you know, jumping on a on what is now a trend, you know, when we started, it wasn't a trend. So to see someone that's starting on a trend, you know, kind of poking fun at what you do and then, you know, have way more uh, success over such a short period of time, you know, yeah, you, you get a little annoyed, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I, I agree with what you said a little bit for me about it being a competition, but for me, it's like I'm doing this shit because it's fun, and like the moment it gets too competitive, or I start feeling like I have to, I'm like pressured to like come up with something new. Like I don't make shit from YouTube, so it's like I don't really have that pressure, you know. I just want to make stuff that people like to watch, and then like I get a lot of joy out of connecting with people. So I was a little bit pissed off about Brad Hall, but. I'm kind of over it now. Yeah. Nate, yeah. Nate, Nate, what are you thinking right now? Oh, lots of thoughts, man. Lots of thoughts. I want to hear it. For one. Hey, wait, right, real quick. Nice, nice t-shirt. I know, right? <laughs> Nate, so, Nate, why are you, Nate, why are you standing up? You look, like, uncomfortable. No, no. He's, he's <laughs> like this. No, 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 no. I'm not, no, no. I've seen him look, he's I'm pacing. Bored, oh. Hold on now. Hold on. If, I, if I'm on the phone or if I'm in a hangout, I gotta be walking. No, like no. it's just Why it's how my mind clicks. I have energy, hence why I'm so skinny. My metabolism is like get up and move. Where's your blood light? Where's your blood light? Miller light. Miller light. Miller light. Man, blood how light. How dare you? <laughs> no, Nate. I want. I want. I want to hear it. Let's let's okay. hear it. All right. All right. All right. This isn't even a rant. This is just go back to what J Pant said. Like you see all these videos. It, it had a change from that. Let's be honest. Every Saturday, all of us are posting up the same shoe, the same shoe, the same stuff. Except maybe one or two of us, instead of showing five kicks, your name was Dub. You're showing fifty <laughs> kicks. So we're showing the same shoes. I don't think that part's changed. But like we were talking about last week, it's not Rasta Clot anymore. It's it's Saucony. It's Champs. It's Finish Line. It's it's bigger. It's just bigger now. It's evolved. It's none of our faults. And I think. Being a viewer, okay, because I'm a viewer as well as used to be a creator, hung that shit up. But coming from a viewpoint of still so to all of you guys and a myriad of other people, like what I noticed now, it's the same shit on Saturday to me as a viewer. But what I notice now with the bigger brand um, seating, endorsements, whatever you call it, through the week, it seems like. We're seeing shoes that we're not used to seeing on Saturdays, and so that's why some people feel some sort of way. Th that's how I feel. Like that's we, were seeing Rastaclot, we were seeing Rastaclot all over the fucking place five years ago, and I, I ranted about it because it just got old to me. So 
taking that to now, I can see how some viewers would be like, man, it's this shoe again? Good Lord. Because it's a shoe they're not used to seeing. But trust me, if it's a Jordan 6, if it's a, if it's a Jordan this or a Jordan that, people aren't going to get in that mindset of, here we go again with this shoe, blah, 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 because it's different. It's something new. It's not It's not a Jordan. Yeah, okay. that's true. Brad that's true. And that, that has a lot to do with the unboxing shit, too, because you don't know what video you're going to be watching. About yeah. a year ago, you mm. used to know every video. It, uh, I've been showing Saucony on my channel for a long-ass time, and all the titles would say what Saucony shoe it was. So if you didn't mess with Saucony, you didn't watch the video. But now when you see me unboxing a shoe and you're expecting a Nike or a Jordan or a collab or something, and you see a Saucony and you're not used to seeing that, you're like, yo, what the fuck is this? So you you kind of you you catch feelings on it a little bit, but at the same time, that's part of the game. Like, you're not gonna have something from Flight Club every time you unbox a shoe, and it's not bad to look at different shoes. Like this is what it is. We're putting different shoes in front of your face that you're not used to seeing. You there's guarantee there's people that are looking at these unboxings that have never had a Saucony shoe before or whatever the brand it is, and they're like, you know what? That's not that bad. I see why they like that. You know, and then. There's going to be the opposite side of it, or I, I don't like that shoe. I wanted to see some some heat, you know, but we all have different definitions of heat and what we like nowadays. Like, I haven't really copped a Saturday Jordan release in a while, but I, that's just my style, you know? I, yeah. I think some of the Saucony collabs are heat. Yeah. Like, I, I mess with Saucony heavy, you know, so it's it, that, it's just the nature. It's just the way that YouTube is right now. I've definitely yeah. gotten the backlash from the unboxings, like not titling them, and they see a Saucony, and they're just like 20 dislikes, like, it's, it's hell. Like, but screw it, you like it, though. Yeah. You like the shoe, you're unboxing it, you're showing it in your channel. Like, it's up to you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you, made, you made, make some really good points. Um, heat, the, heat is dead, because heat used to be... Uh, dude, Jordan, normal Jordan retros used to be considered heat. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just because they were that hard to get. Now Jordan retros are just, you know, they, they've flooded the market. PEs, there's no PEs anymore. There used to be tons of PEs, whether it was LeBron, all this shit floating around. Everybody got arrested. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why, yeah. The, the PE guy. Yeah. The PE P -E guy is going to, he's going to be getting fucked in the ass, so. No, he turned rat, dude. I smell a fucking rat. He turned rat. Oh, what a bastard. I always saw heat fucking rat. as like this being like in the eye to be be uh, the beholder, you know? Like heat is what you like, not Oh like, yeah. Like a heat a heat, oh, please. heat can be uh, we, know, oh, yeah. like, we, like we, we've been having this said. with argument for, for years cuz what <laughs> you think is heat, I think is trash or what I think is yeah. trash, you think's heat. There, there's no there, you know what I mean? Exactly. You can only I think one of the keys is tr People love to like want to call you out for liking certain shoes. People, I, I don't know. It just seems weird that you can't just enjoy a shoe anymore without like someone <laughs> saying something about it. Isn't that kind of weird? It's true. Yeah. It's str It's strange, really. Yeah. Um, well, the problem is, is there's too many people that think their opinion matters. It's crazy. Yeah, that's true. It's like the, Not right. you know, the internet really has given kids a, a, a false sense of entitlement, and I feel bad because what's great about sneakers is you it used to be you could really wear whatever it is, and that's what made it individual, you know. But I feel like with a lot of kids that I meet at, at sneaker shows and stuff, the only thing they're concerned about is like the hyped up sneakers. If it's not the Yeezy, it's not the you know all red whatever it is, then you're not really getting you know they don't want to know. And it's like frustrating, but that's just how it is. That's what I think is sad, someone, because like I can, I would admit totally. Everybody here, like everybody here who makes videos, they're trying to push the sneaker community in like a more diverse collection of kicks. You know, like I don't feel like everybody here's, because then like on Twitter and Instagram, it seems like everybody's making it seem like if you're not rocking uh, like Yeezys or these high brand shoes, you're you're not fitting in. Whereas everyone here is trying to like just open up. You know, other people's minds to different brands like, like Stockany for one, and you know, uh, New Balance. You know, this Asics, like the the runners, and even like that's what, like you said, like early with Kanye, like with Adidas. I feel like everybody exactly. Here it's a good point. You lose you, Auntie. Yeah, I was, I was dead. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's usually what. Usually he's got something to. 
to, to Zay right Zane after. Goes, and what do you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Did he not? No, that, that, that's a good he, point, though, Tony. Oh, he I, muted I, himself. I he muted himself. No, he, he kind of dips out every once in a while and then come back in. And he's like, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, no, I agree. We're talking about Frey Dog. And the problem is because <laughs> Frey Dog, like, it's all oh. instant gratification, you know? Like, I know some kids that, you know, and I've met them before, that have huge Instagram followings that stunt whatever it is on Instagram. And they're constantly, you know, some of them are constantly buying and selling. Like, they don't necessarily have a sneaker collection. Like, I could fucking have Air Mags if I wanted to, but I've got 80 pairs of sneakers at my house, you know, like, I, and that shit stays in my collection. I'm not trying to keep buying and selling to just have something new on Instagram, you know, so I can have Yeezys this week and Air Mags next week. And I feel like that kind of consumerism and that kind of, like, you know, fast fast buying selling is, like, not really what, you know, collecting sneakers or being passionate about sneakers is about. But that's who, you know, has a good Instagram following, you know? Yeah. It's renting. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. You, gotta be, uh, you gotta be a good renter. Yeah. Isn't that our leasing? Leasing? Like leasing a new car and then yeah. two years later you, you get another one? Yeah. Hey, well, they've got, they've got sneaker pawn shops now. Yeah. yeah and don't get me wrong. When I, when I was younger, I like sneakers and I didn't have a lot of money. Like, I would try to, like, swap, you know, okay, I, I had the Independence Day 5. All right, I want to get the next Jordan. You know, can I can I swap it for something else? Like, I think that's fine. But to, to act like you got a fucking collection and you have, like, you're just really swapping out that one or two shoes, I, I don't know yeah. about that. I wouldn't want to deal with that hassle. That's crazy. Like, yeah. I, anytime I sell a shoe on eBay or, or whatever it is, I'm like, I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> it sucks. Like, <laughs> half the people don't pay. You, you have to, like, go to the post office most of the time. It just sucks. They've got, like, a 20 percent fee, too. Yeah, yeah that, too. You, to, you pay a ton. And no one wants it. No one Here's wants to buy your champ sports shoes because they don't come in the original box. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just, just, just be, a, be a man and send it in the champ's box. Sign your name. <laughs> Yo, you got a piece of history here, dog. Sign your plate. <laughs> but here, here's a pair of some Enjoy these roaches. Too. It, it's just... I always have the mentality of the other end as well is if you ship them a pair of shoe, they can always file a claim and say they never got the right shoe and send you something else back. Yeah, you know, you get picked you over get and screwed real bad. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like I, I don't mind selling something on eBay that is not really that sought after. You know, mm -hmm. if I buy a pair of Air Maxes or whatever, I wear them a few times. I'm like, you know what? I'm not really wearing those as much as I used to. Throw them on eBay for obviously less than you paid, and you get some of your money back. And no one has a fake of some Air Max 90 <laughs> from, from, from a few years ago, you know, yeah. or, or anything like that. So in that sense, it's good. But I would never want to mess with buying – like I would never buy the bread lows today. And, and throw them on eBay, you know? You don't, like, yeah. With all the fees and stuff, you don't make your money back, you and there's a make risk. Profit. There, there's no profit in it. Yeah. You, you, you used to be, to but like, not anymore. Yeah, you have to do it like uh, 23 it's Penny, all, or you have to have your own following locally to sell yeah. it to make money. 23 Penny is up the street from me. I just, if I want to, I can just go pick it up from his house. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, no, I think well, eBay is kind of, eBay is kind of dead. It's kind of gone gift, more to Twitter, gift it too. PayPal. Gift it to PayPal is the best thing you could do. Yep. Uh, all right, we got to hit on this, too. Uh, Nate, we have more photos of the Jordan 7 champ pack. Uh, got it. I want to hear everyone's thoughts uh, on, on the shoe, on the pack. You like it? You don't like it? You know, they, same thing. We saw the six-pack last year. What do you guys thought? I, my first thought on that, I thought the maroon shoe was nice. Maroon with a gum bottom on a 7, I think it looks good. However, you know, I don't need the little toy, little Cracker Jack ring on the, on the uh, lace holder. Uh, also, I can't pay 250 for those. I just, I can't. Uh, Nate, 7 guy, let's hear it. All right. Okay. Jordan Brandon, they're freaking packs. It about pisses me off because... Let's let's rewind time. Okay, so you got DMP pack, right? DMP pack comes out. DMP pack, okay. Not, not nice, nice pack for sevens. 
Jordan Brand fucks it all up, and they charge you three ten for the pack. They fuck up multiple places. They fuck up on the tongue, for one. That date's incorrect. It was January 16th, I believe, of 93 when you scored these 64 oh points. God. And secondly, it gets better, guys. It gets better. And that's on every pair, not just on certain sizes. Next, it comes with who they face when you score 64 points. And that was the magic. Fire, right? Then they throw these in, which doesn't make any sense because these should have fucking been these because he actually was wearing the Cardinals during that game. That's the first pack that Jordan pissed me off with the sevens. So let's move forward a little Dolan. bit to 2012 <laughs> in August. They come out with another pack, Golden Dolan. Moment pack. Everyone knows this. When they come out with a seven and a six, right? Fire pack, right? So why do we need another seven <laughs> pack showing his championship? And I'm going to set this here because this one is, is key to another thing. And then Dolan. where's the other thing at? There was one more thing coming out, and I wanted to touch on that. Where is that? Heard you know what? Doesn't even fucking matter. Doesn't even fucking matter. Get as, far as, the, as far as the new colorways, I'm not calling them anything other than the new colorways of sevens, the, the maroon and the white and gold. The white and gold would have been awesome if they released it this year and they made this the other one. You know, the white and black, and you got the black and gold, and yada, yada, yada. The maroon one, the gum bottom, is not going to sell me, Jordan. I'm sorry. Jordan just heard, you know what? Everyone likes to go bottoms. Let's throw that shit on the bottom and charge them 250 and give them a Cracker Box toy. <laughs> Not about. So, I, I, I just, Jordan, brand Jordan, dude. Pisses me off. This is a sad year, and it should have been the best year ever. I'm just going to flat and out say it. They're way out of my price range. Yeah, I'm just not willing to pay that. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I got a great. Hey, great, great rate yeah. right there. That's perfect. I'm so used to those that I, I don't even know how awesome that was. Like, I just <laughs> I expect one of those every single chat. But that right. was. I good. wish that was my first time catching one of those rants. Like, someone, <laughs> someone, the first time seeing this is gonna be like, damn, that dude knows his settings. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try. Well, Jordan packs look like somebody threw them together that like doesn't even know anything about Jordans or shoes. It looks like they rolled a basketball, whatever it is. Like, I, I like it's ridiculous. Like the, I don't even know what what is that cigar and champagne pack? That's what I was wondering. Is that the same thing? Is that supposed to be? Yeah, cigar? like yeah. they're just making shit up. <laughs> it's the <laughs> interns. Here's the, here's the, the way, are making the decision. Here's the way I picture it happening. Right, they're all sitting down at a board <laughs> meeting and they're like, "Yo, guys, we gotta fucking shove another two hundred fifty dollar Jordan down these guys' throats." <laughs> How are you to do it? They're like, oh, well, you know, we tried the premium Jordans. That didn't really work. Let's do a pack. Oh, that's a good idea. They're like, oh, now we need some ideas for a Jordan pack. And someone goes, you know what? I got it. We're going to do cigar and champagne after he won, this, won the series. And then someone goes, didn't we do that last year? And they go, yeah. <laughs> They'll probably forget. And it seems like everyone's forgotten. They did the same fucking colorways <laughs> last year. It's like Michael Jordan likes other stuff than cigars and champagne. Well, my, my, my thing is they could do actually really good packs that had some sort of meaning behind them that yeah. I think everybody would get into. Like, I mean, he had enough accomplishments. How many, how many MVPs did he win? Yeah. They could do an MVP pack with... The actual yeah, he was, shoes he was wearing when he won the MVPs. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, wait, is this a pack? Like, this is going to be a separate pack, though, right? But it's going to come out together like the, the uh, previous ones? They're going to be separate. Oh, okay. So, they're going to be released. Like, like you could buy both, but they're released separately. Yeah. I, I, just, I just feel like there's so much they could be doing, you know? Like, Michael Jordan's hot wife. Like, there's probably a story. <laughs> What again? Send a bikini with the shoes? Hey, dude, I, I don't know what the shoes have to come with. No, you you actually make a good point because it's it's unfortunate, and this isn't just Jordan Brand. This is every company. Every fucking shoe has to have a theme now, whether it's food, whether it's Back to the Future. No shoe can just be a shoe. Dude, did you guys see the uh, video Mayer did? Uh there was a video that the mayor did a, a while back when he was yeah with the undefeated the fours and he squished them. <laughs> well, no, he was he talked about the KD fours and he's like peanut butter and jelly KD fours. He's like everybody I know ate PB and J. He's like my friend's rich as hell and his kid eats PB and J every day when he goes to lunch. He's like 
it ain't significant to KD that he's eating a PB and J sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> just getting out of hand. <laughs> That's funny. That 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 video is awesome. He's just shitting on everybody that that shows heat in their, Who, in their whose video. Whose video is it? It's it's Mayor. Mayor. It's Mayor. through uh, Sneaker Watch though. I'm glad. He's like, I got GRs. Like he, all he wants to do is show like his GRs, like his white on white Air Forces, some of his Harajis. Like just he wanted to show GR stuff, and whoever was filming was like, uh. Like, like, they wanted to, like, <laughs> pan off to, like, the undefeated force. I, I think, though, like what you said, yo, Auntie, I think, though, honestly, that I think the concepts is what sells the shoe. Like, if there was just a name, like, something just the Jordan 6 maroon, maroon gum bottom, this shit wouldn't sell as a champ pack, you know? You think about it, because, like, think about all the ones that release, like, the, I mean, like, the Blake, I mean, like, you know, just the regular Jordan 1 mids that have, like, the, Weird names that don't ever fucking sell out, you know, like all the ones that are on finish line, all white or whatever it is. They, they don't have no type of name to them. They kind of just they sit. True. Yeah. I think the concept, the name, the that's what hypes it up. Yeah. The mids catch a bad rap because of that. Exactly. People are like, oh, I don't want mids. Thanks to whoever him. turned off the Maury Povich show in the background. I, I saw <laughs> some Chinese worker in the background or some shit. <laughs> it's a Jordan One out there. It's on Jimmy Jay all the time. I've been wanting to probably scoop them up, but they like look Batman Jordan Ones, and they just called Jordan One black and uh, vibrant yellow. But put a fucking Batman theme or something on. I'm pretty sure shit was like selling something. Say that was say that was Michael Jordan's favorite cartoon growing up. Their other favorite cartoon. <laughs> And and that's what I'm and that's and to that point too. I'm me personally. I'm like done buying into any type of theme. I'm like I'm not gonna buy a shoe anymore because of it's you know made after you know a pear or you know a watermelon or something. I'm just like I don't I don't I don't care anymore. Ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna really focus. It's and, and I will say it is kind of difficult at times too not to get caught up in in hype or this and that, like, to truly focus on, like, what do I want, what do I need, like, I think we've all, Optimus, too, you, you can really chime in on this as being as, in J Paint, being as selective as possible, truly buying a shoe because you genuinely love it. J Paint, you bought those Georgetown 11 lows because you're like, that's an awesome shoe, I really want those. Optimus, yeah. you just bought these breads for the first, you know, first pickup in a while because you're like, I really want mm -hmm. that shoe. And I think that's important when it comes to sneaker collecting and buying sneakers. Buy something that you really, really like. Don't just fall into the hype of, you know, yeah, this shoe is based off, you know, mint chocolate chip ice cream or a hot dog. I, I don't know. I mean, is they even made a hot dog sneaker yet? I'm sure they will. Um, <laughs> but, but like, I think, like, focusing on, you know, not getting caught up in the hype because it is easy. I've, I've done it. I think we all have to a point, you know, in, in some aspect. Um, Jay Payton and Optus, you guys want to chime in on how you how you've been able to kind of do that the last you know basically calendar year of really trying to slow down? Yeah, you you can start Optimus. Um, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of looking back on the this year's releases, and it's you know there there hasn't been anything that's really been you know nice to look at that I really wanted, you know. Um, I'm scrolling through it. You got you got all these new concepts of the Jordan tens, the Liberty tens, the All Red tens. I mean, the only ones I probably would have went after might have been the fours, you know, the Oreo fours. I don't like the Columbia fours, um, but and then I think they're trying too hard with the whole Space Jam and, and Looney Tune theme with all these new shoes. But, Sheesh! I know. Those fives are but, atrocious. Yeah, it's just I don't see anything that's worthwhile buying in the first place, but I, I like the original colorways. That's just how it is for me. I mean, there, there are a select few where I will buy the newer colorways just because it does look cool, but compared to the last couple of years, there's there's been nothing but other than garbage, really, the way I look at it. I mean, it's sold out, so I can't. The number speaks for itself. <laughs> See, I, I'm exactly with you. I'm exactly with you as far as like kind of the OG colorways. Most of my most of the shoes that I want, I already have because I I really like the original Jordans. 
So it, it kind of takes a lot at this point for me to be like, oh, I want this shoe, oh, I want this shoe. And my thing is, my whole passion for, for sneakers started with uh, basketball-related shoes. So I, like, as far as, like, Saucony and, and these other brands go, I'm not as into it because the, my viewpoint is if I'm not buying, like, a basketball shoe or something that, like, has some sort of connection with me, then I'll probably just get a nicer, dressier shoe. Like, not not an actual sneaker. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm kind of doing, like, other things, like, with my collection a little bit. Like, I got these this year, which is uh, probably one of my favorite pickups ever. Oh, Forrest Gump, Cortez? Oh, Forrest Run, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I, I'm kind of doing, like, trying to get sneakers that relate to movies um, at this point, or that have, like, some significance to, like, movies that I like, like The White Men Can't Jump. Um, uh, I've got a few others, but, um, yeah, j so just stuff like that. That's that, that's a cool um, niche to, to grab sneaker yeah. collection based on. But you know, well, I'd, like to have the, I'd like to have the mags, but those things are freaking... <laughs> Seven thousand dollars. Would you well, wear them? Would you wear them, J Paint? It would have to be the right moment. Um, <laughs> like in the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be an everyday wear. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not an everyday wear. Like every other maybe. <laughs> but like, it'd like, but it'd be like a cool shoe to wear to like an '80s party or something like that. Yeah, yeah. you would kill it in those. Yeah. Uh, the, another thing too about like you know the the couple of shoes you mentioned, they're such great like conversation pieces, too. Because if yeah. someone looks down and, sees, and looks at them, and it, you, it's like you can automatically break into, you know, the backstory, the movie, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just, it, it's a great conversation piece. Um, yeah. And then, something else, too, I want to hit on this question real quick. Um, someone said, hold on, uh, if Kanye cuts the cage on his Pure Boost, will they release a non-cage version and then T Blake, I saw your video where you cut the cage. You cut the cage off. Um, what, what, I, I was. Did, has Kanye done that or no? No, Kanye did not do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's something. So when I when I visited Adidas um, in November. Yeah, November. No. Uh, when did Alter Boost come out? It might have been November. I think it was November. Maybe it was January. Whatever. Whenever I visited. Uh, Adidas, a lot of their people in-house um, had actually done, like, a way more professional job. I thought they actually made them, like, as samples, and they might have, but I'm not sure, but they had the cage cut off. Like that, um, for instance, that black custom that all the blogs are showing, which has been, I don't know, it, it kind of came out of nowhere because that photo is really old, but um, the person that did that custom is an Adidas Originals employee. So that's where I saw the idea. I was like, I wonder if I could just do this in my house with like some scissors, and it came out all right. And to be honest, I've been wearing them like every single day, and I really think that Adidas is going to incorporate a sort of slip-on sneaker. Whether or not it's Ultra Boost, I'm not sure, but it would definitely make sense to be Ultra Boost. It looks good. Dude, it, <laughs> I mean, some people fucking hate it, and some people don't. It's funny because like, the video I did on Ultra Boost, I was like, yeah, and if you guys, like, want, I'll, I'll cut it apart. And, like, everyone was like, yeah, cut it apart, cut it apart. Then I dropped the video, and it was, like, all hate comments. It's like, why did you do this? You ruined the picture. It's like, you guys asked for it, man. Like, but, uh, I, love, I love them, and, and if other people want to do it, I think I've proved that you can do it without having a lot of skill at customizing things. So... If you can cut, you're in. Yeah, if you if you can borrow your mom's scissors, if you've gone past safety scissors, you can probably cut. <laughs> you gotta have a steady hand, though. No, dude, I, I I I cut out parts of the video where I was just like pulling them apart and like very violently trying to cut them. <laughs> Should have left that in there. Well, the first one I did was super easy because, like, I wanted to test one before I did the other, and then when I was filming it, it just took a little longer. So. That's funny. I don't know. Cool. But, yeah, you just have an awesome, awesome month of June up ahead, for sure. Like, I'm actually starting to like 
as far as new sneakers go, I think Adidas is crapping on Nike right now. Like oh, the tubulars, totally. the tubulars. I've never been into uh, Adidas, but I am for sure getting a pair of those at some point, just because I think they look so amazing from a design standpoint. Right. That's a really cool. That's a really well designed shoe. It's and fitting then, for yeah. the time it came out. You know. It's, it's like funny. my favorite favorite newly designed shoe. What's funny about Adidas is back to what we were saying that they don't really drop concepts. They're just sneakers. It's kind of just just tubular drops. Uh, you know the the uh, the boost. You know they don't really have concepts like all these. Yeah. You know, Nike, Asics, Saucony. Uh, they just kind of just drop the shoe. I think that's. I think that's also got to do with it's just like a new a new silhouette or something that we're not used to. So when I can't remember who brought it up, but it's like when you actually give another brand a chance, and then you're like, "Wow, you know, I really can, I really can wear this or get down with that." I think that's how it was with me for a lot of Adidas because I had never really given them a try, and there's a lot of new models I like now. Well, I, I think the other thing about Adidas is they're coming across like a lot less corny than Nike lately. Yeah, like like totally. with all the packs and stuff with Nike, you're like, you got to be freaking kidding me, like. Yeah, a, a moron. Like I feel like, and there's a there are a lot of people out there that are still eating up every shoe that comes out. But I think, at least from my standpoint, Adidas has a much more kind of uh, natural feel to to their sneakers mm -hmm. and their releases. Yeah, like some of their models that they've created between the SL Loop, the ZX Flux, the Tubular. Yeah. All the all the boosts, whether it's Energy, Ultra, Pure, they've all been really cool, good models. Like none of them have been, at least in my eyes, like a flop. Like, dude, that shoe's terrible. Like they've all yeah. had a uniqueness to them that seems, like you said, natural. They haven't really had to pull the theme card or the this or that for for to catch people's attention. You know? Yeah, and, and another thing about Adidas, I think, is uh, Nike and Jordan. At least to me, this is this is just my perspective. When I look at a Nike or a Jordan, like I really like the logo. I I love the Nike logo. I love the Jordan logo. I've never liked the Adidas logo. Like I don't like the uh, the Under Armour logo, for example, as well. But I think with like the tubular and like the Boost, etc., it's the tubular. I don't think you can even see the logo anywhere on the shoe. And like the Boost, Not it's really. very minimal. Like so, they're yeah. kind of pulling back from the, from the logo and focusing more on the actual design of the shoe. And I, I think, like, for uh, Under Armour, like, if you saw the, the recent Steph Curry shoes, like, the shoe itself looks pretty decent, but then they just slap a huge, like, ugly-ass logo <laughs> on the side of it, and I'm, it just kills the shoe for me. I, yeah, I, I agree, because Under Armour, they've got to they've clean up that, that, their branding. Yeah. Cuz cuz I've I have I have a bunch of Under Armour sneakers that I work out in. Um I have like three pairs of Under Armour sneakers that I work out in and they're awesome sneakers to work out in. Like, yeah, they like, perform well everything about them but like like you said that Under Armour the the, the big UA is just not that appealing. And exactly. I've talked to a, a few people who um uh, you know work at, like in the industry and even they're like it's terrible. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks good on a shirt. Like it looks good on a yeah. shirt, just like yeah, you know, a little like right there. On a sneaker, it just doesn't flow well. I agree. Um, it, and it's it's sad because it takes away from what I personally believe. I think they've got great uh, gym and basketball sneakers. You know what I mean? Yeah, the um, actual so. the actual design of the shoes themselves looks good. Right. Like I think if yep. you like if you put a Nike sign on those shoes, you'd be like, oh, those are some good looking shoes. Like they need to figure something out with their branding, like you said. Yep. Um, any, any, what? Sorry, I, I tweeted out while both series are going to be sweeps, and someone said I was overreacting. They're both 3-0. How's it overreacting? <laughs> I mean, my, my, I just overreacted right there. Are we but getting a live view of what you, you're really that's, like when that's, you see that's tweets? Me, that's me on Twitter 24-7. Did he really say that? I'm not overreacting. They're <laughs> going to be sweeps. I'm just stating fact. Sorry. Mm. Um, anyway, say his name. Here. Say his name. <laughs> it's hashtag exposed. Hashtag. You're gonna, I'm gonna spam email you. Hashtag. Uh, 
<laughs> All right. Uh, any, uh, we've been live for over an hour now. It's been a solid chat. Any any last parting topics, guys, or comments, concerns, and or issues? Concerns and or issues. Uh. <laughs> I, I was I was a uh, I was just a, a, I was a, six, a sixth grade teacher. Yeah. All right, guys. Homework is due at the end of class. If there's any concerns and or issues, please bring them to the front now. They won't know how to troubleshoot my Xbox Live. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that. Uh, I really hope I get these Chicago ones without oh, with ease. That's, that's gonna that, be a, a an absolute shit show. On did, those sh- did those shoes release in the past few years? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but with, with, without the Nike Air though, they had the Jumpman. Yeah. It's completely. It's pretty much a completely different shoe. It's got like yeah. it's a plastic billboard tongue. The only thing he, the only thing that's right. gonna help, the only thing that's gonna help with that release is the Pinnacles are gonna release at the same time. They're supposed to release at 10 a.m. too. Yes, and you know what all the hype beasts are going to be going for. Yeah. It's so funny, man. I don't even think of Jordan 1s as Jordans. And I know that doesn't sound right, but like I think of retros as like two through whatever, you know? But I think of 1s as almost like, like a Nike shoe. Like they release differently. They come in different boxes. They always yeah. have different materials. They, it, it, it's, it's different. It, they're, it's weird. Uh, like you can never really get an, a good OG one high easily, you know. Shadow yep. breads, Royals, yep. all that. Those were those were hard to get. These are going to be no exception. These broken backward ones are probably going to be tough too. They, Impossible. Yeah, I feel like they hit different accounts. They do. They at my mall, the Jordan ones don't hit. Uh, they only hit foot action. And, and someone told me once, I, I uh, asked them, why is that? And they said, foot action is considered a boutique, whereas Champs is more sporty. Foot Locker is like apparel and shoes, and foot action is looked at as like a boutique. I, I don't know if anyone can, uh, you know, Wait, the comments that, that works for them. Can, can, I thought how the hoops was like the boutique. No, 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 no. no, foot action no. feels more, it has like an urban clothing line in it. Right. Yeah. I mean, along with their shoes, but you know, it doesn't like seem at like my a at my me. mall and at my mall, Foot Locker and Champs, and they're both really big. Like it's a big mall with a lot of stores and everything. They don't, they will, they've never gotten a Jordan One. Only the Foot Action in that mall has gotten the Jordan Ones. So they've been you, I, impossible to get. Do you have a house of hoops? I don't have a house of hoops. I don't know what it is about finish line stores. They just never. Ever have nothing? Never See, our our finish line, <laughs> our finish lines. We're lucky because well, it's means, your you neck know, of wood. <laughs> yeah, we 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 get the ones, and then we get um, the ones go to House of Hoops, but we don't get them at Foot Locker, other than that it's a House of Hoops. Does the well, distribution the center have a store lines. in it? it no, no, the the finish no. the finish lines here all did the uh, the store base model upgrade. That's why I think a lot of the finish lines here are blessed, <laughs> as it were. But they crushed, they crushed the Air Maxi. Like they always have a good selection of Air Maxes and, mm-hmm. yeah, and, and more runners, you know, like yeah. as opposed to to everything else. So that that's probably their bread and butter as far as like the Nike scene goes. I mean, obviously retros kill it still, but like aside yeah. from that, and Jordan One mids, <laughs> Tony pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes um, I want those mids more than I want like a retro. Yeah. You know, like you, you'd be surprised. Those those mids aren't that bad. It's the same thing. I got the all and, white and, ones. Yeah, those are sick. Friggin' yeah. fifty bucks, sixty bucks. They always go on sale. Like I don't have to. There's no hype around them. It's a clean shoe. Chicks like chicks probably like those white mids better than they like friggin' I don't know those ugly fives that are coming out or. <laughs> Or, or whatever else. And, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yep, it's true. Exactly. It's true. Oh, I mean, maybe <laughs> not to some of you guys, but <laughs> to, to me. <laughs> that's why I decided to look into other brands. Because, I mean, girls don't even know what the half these chicks don't even know what you got on your feet. You can wear some sketches. Nah. And like, damn, those are nice. Dude. <laughs> My my girlfriend was loving these though, the the scoops, the the Sauconies. I was yeah. surprised. 
She's like, oh, those, those are pink. Those are cool. Like, <coughs> you better watch out. She's going to leave the house with them. <laughs> Nightwing's, Nightwing's tweet at that last uh, Curry 3 went. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, all right, hey, good, this was a solid chat. It, it, I feel like this was kind of like a therapy session. A lot of people got stuff off their chest. Um, I think that's. I think this is. We got to do this more. You know. I think it's good for for all of us. Um, but this is great to get this many people in. Uh, it's it's like I said. It's been it's been a minute since we had uh, a big one like this. Um, but we're gonna go chat off air for a little while. Um, so it kicked you, me you off because I was ranting. If you guys have the um, secret password, you can watch the after hours live. I'll tweet out that secret password, as well as uh, I'm going to send out all the trophies for everyone being on as well. A, B, A, B, up, down, up, down, select star. That's it. <laughs> uh, uh, so, guys. Digital video games. Oh, yep. unbelievable. It's crazy. Like NBA Jam and NFL Blitz, I remember just, like, randomly, like, mashing the controller, hoping <laughs> some, some code would pop up. Something just pops up. <laughs> That was yeah. like Mortal Kombat too. Mortal Kombat when the motor oh, screen. Oh, button masher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the best so button hard. masher. I beat the whole Mortal Kombat 10 campaign button mashing. Fifty dollars I've ever spent. Wow. wow. That's so, hilarious. guys, I just want to let everyone know that T Blake has infinite, infinite amounts of sneaker codes for the sneakers app. So feel free to ask him on Twitter. He, he's got, he's got tons. If you guys need to go to the sneakers app, just let me know. I even have, <laughs> I even have. We charge it nowadays like ten bucks each or something. Yeah, something no, real reasonable. Access. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. All, All right, man. Well, shout out to Jay Z. You guys, you, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hove, <laughs> rock. <laughs> I'm ending it. Real bomb. Real bomb. It. Real bomb. <laughs> real bomb. Here's the bear pig for you, Bone. Oh, my God. In the flesh.